Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna to continue a series I started last year on digital data modes, and it's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna cover a digital mode that's been around for a while called JS8, and really focusing on the practical real world applications of that mode. There have been some recent breakthroughs in terms of taking JS8 call to the next level. So if you guys are interested in using JS8 call for real MCOM, stick around. All right, so with this series, I actually wanted to start off with a 101 video on how to configure JSA call from first principles. We're gonna do that, not in this video. I actually wanna hook you guys and make a fun little intro into why you might even wanna spend the cycles in getting licensed and potentially looking into digital data mode. So we're gonna be looking at uh, microblogging today. It was actually a idea that Julian Oscar Hotel 8 Sarah Tango November had, I think last year, or not too long ago, and he was looking for an alternative to uh, a lot of the content platforms that were censoring people. So the idea was that we could have a decentralized off-grid communications platform where we can distribute small messages or microblogs over the airwaves. Awesome idea. So I had a member on Buy Me A Coffee who suggested I take a look at a project that aims to build on top of that idea. And it's by a gentleman named uh, Paul Offord, Hope I'm pronouncing that okay. And um, he actually came up with a server client architecture that sits on top of JSA call where you can actually do this. And that's what we're gonna do today. So stick around and uh, I'm gonna find a spot out here on the Tonto National Forest, deploy the antenna, and I'm gonna show you how we can actually do Twitter style microblogging over radio. All right, folks, I'm out here in the field, quickly deployed an antenna and quickly deployed my station. I'll give you a quick uh, overview of all that after we're done here. So I have the station back of the house running JSA call with the microblogging server software. I have one post over there. The uh, station I'm running right now is KT7RUN slash papa for portable. And what I wanna do is go over to uh, the herd stations over here on the right hand side. I'm gonna click on KT7RUN, that's my station at the house. And what we're gonna do is ask it for all of the blogs that it has on its server. And the command that we use for that is m.l. I think it stands for message list. And we're gonna go ahead and send it. So this should take a um, little bit of time. I'm still running on the fast mode, so I think there are two frames. So about 10 seconds of pop to send that across. Uh, if this all works successfully, we should see some activity in the waterfall uh, in about 15 or so seconds. While that's going on, I'm actually running a very low to the ground Envis antenna on 40 meters using my linked dipole, and it goes off to the other side over there. Oh, hold on a second. We'll finish this in a second. You can actually see there, there's some activity on the waterfall and that is my station running the microblog server responding. And it's gonna respond with at most five blog posts. My server only has one. And the format is going to be uh, one blog post per line. It'll give you a blog ID. You can actually see the first one there is uh, number one, and then the name of the blog, and I call this one a TTP microblog. So we'll just wait for that to finish up. And actually the full name of the blog post was TTP microblog one. So all we need to do now to read that is issue another command. And we're gonna go ahead and put um, m dot g as in golf and specify the ID of that blog post. And we're gonna go ahead and send that. And that's gonna cook for about 20 seconds and then we have to deal with the receive. So the important thing for this mode to, is to note that it's a weak signal mode and sending large amounts of data is not realistic. So even just to get one sentence might take about three minutes or so, so keep that in mind. So while that's um, doing its thing over there, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, let's see, is it responding? Why is it not responding yet? That is strange. All right, let's try that uh, one more time. We're gonna do message get number one, and we'll go ahead and send that off again. All right, so getting back to the station, I'm also running a very modest transceiver. This is the QRP Labs QDX. It's a five watt transceiver. 
a little bit of RG316 feed line going up about eight feet into uh, this tree over here. And then I have another, you can't see it from over here, but I've got another trekking pole over there at about uh, probably about five feet off the ground. Oh, and here we go. This actually worked this time, hopefully. Yeah, so my station KT7RUN at the house is uh, coming back to me. And you can see there we've got some activity on the waterfall. And it looks like it's returning the uh, full blog post here. So again, make sure these blog posts are concise and to the point. Uh, in general, I'm going to try to keep my blog posts when I do them no more than to uh, a sentence or two. And you can actually see here the first part says a big thanks to Paul. And uh, we'll keep on waiting here for another few seconds. Paul offered for implementing a, and it goes on and on to talk about thank you for doing the microblog service and just a shout out to Julian Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November. So I'll leave that up and running on the screen so you guys can see it. But bottom line is this is very early for me. Uh, this is actually very early in the development of this microblog server that Paul put together. I'll send him a note to let him know that his stuff is working. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little hook because imagine if you've got HF capabilities, you've got friends in the region, you're running an Envis antenna, you can do this all day long. If you've got friends across the country, put up a different antenna, make use of that skip zone, and have a good old time. All right, guys, uh, big thanks to the guys on Buy Me A Coffee. You guys are actually gonna get some special perks. I need to find a way to thank you now that uh, YouTube is not being terribly friendly to me. So there'll be uh, field cards, so you can have reference material on all these commands. There's gonna be a step-by-step -step configuration guide, and then I've got another readme on the server setup and uh, a lot of cool stuff. We're even gonna do some practice uh, nets with this microblogging architecture. All right, be strong, be safe, and be prepared.